young people of this country have increasingly made it clear that the steps which our leaders with political power must make have to have one thing in mind, the future. Education, a right, not a privilege. The motto of news is indeed an expression worth noting. This government, led by His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Akufuado, the President of Ghana, and his adult Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Obamia, make this motto meaningful. Financial education in Africa is a big issue, especially tertiary education. Many privileged, needy students have been unable to assess students' loans for the simple reason that they could not find qualified individuals or organizations to guarantee their loans for them. We heard the story of my brother Kamiya Dinkra. He found some, but you know the end result. We need the students who will come out of the senior, senior high schools to also continue to tertiary education, where the needy will definitely will be faced with financial issues. Hence, the government has made an attempt, and today is going to be launched, to minimize the financial burden of students to enable them to go through the tertiary education and become very useful citizens for this country. The promises that were made in Cape Coast by the Vice President is a promise that was kept. And the President led the effort, Cabinet approval, to Parliamentary approval, and to launching today to ensure that we can open the floodgates of tertiary education to everyone in this country. matter which side of town you were born, rich or poor, you have access to tertiary education and God help us if we are able to move our tertiary education to 40% and beyond, this country's transformation will become a reality. So the foundations that have been made by this government under the leadership of Nana Dudan Kofuwa is geared toward the total transformation of this nation. It's not a political game. The no guarantor policy which removes the most significant barrier for students who want to assess the student loan. With the removal of the uh, guarantee requirement, we have put tertiary education within the reach of hundreds of thousands of students nationwide. The question, I guess, in everyone's mind would be, how would borrow? trace and get them to pay up now. Now that the student loan trust fund is not asking for guarantees anymore. Don't worry at all. When this idea came and I called each of the two and I said look can't we allow the Ghana card to represent the guarant? They said well he said this is what we do in the US. This is what we do in the U.S. They said, well, what is the issue? They said, the U.S., everybody has a social security number. So the loans are given to the students without a guarantee. I said, in Ghana, we also have a Ghana card number. And the students can also get the loans without a guarantee. And so we decided to, to, to bring this policy. And I must say that they have worked very hard. I mean, they owned it and ran with it and implemented it. And today, we are here to launch it. I uh, really want to thank you, uh, and again, for what you have done for Ghana. We are hugely grateful, and on the behalf of the 10 million students of the Republic of Ghana, we say God bless every single person who has been a part of this initiative and ensure that this happens today, and we are here smiling. the minister in charge of the sector, who's an, who under his leadership has steered the affairs of this great initiative. Honorable Doc, we are grateful. We are grateful for the leadership you continue to show as sector minister. And to the CEO, my own very father, Nanako Kweji Yebwa, you've been innovative and transformative to say the least. We are grateful.
I was surprised at the numbers. All the people who applied, only about 9%, I think 8% were able to access the loan. What number are you anticipating once this policy takes shape? The uh, 10%, we are anticipating about 60%, 60%. jump. Yeah. When you came, what was the recovery rate and what is it now? The recovery rate was hovering around maybe 45%, and we moved it to 65 pre COVID. Wow. Yes, pre COVID. Pre-COVID. Yes. Okay. But with COVID, it came down. down uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. So what do you anticipate? With that, how, what, what role do you anticipate this Ghana card? I mean, the way the vice president uh, said, mm. the, the Ghana card is like, yeah, we, we've caught you. You can't hide. Mm. So your recovery rate is going to be not much better. Right? Uh, I mean, uh, the Ghana card is uh, do all. Mm. Okay. And uh, the, the macho, uh, you know, that, mm. that, that's a good imagery. Um, the, and, and that's why we didn't need guarantorship was became superfluous mm-hmm. because we have ways of tracking better than we used to do in the past. Right. So the card and the systems can help us track students better. If that's the case, then why continue with the policy that was denying access right. to most of the uh, students? So now, finally, what does this mean? Because policies all sound good, but when I heard that farmer saying that because of money he couldn't get to university, uh, that market woman and everything, I want you to talk to the market women, the farmers, and those who simply don't have. What does this mean to them? This means that uh, this is a caring government. The government that cares for the needy. Okay, now the doors are open. And everybody now the only thing that can prevent you from having higher education is if you don't have you know the the, the mental uh you know the wits for, for that one the government can yeah can, can, can support you <laughs> otherwise everybody you know you, you can have access no matter where i mean your background you know you cannot say my parents are poor yeah. and that kind of things what does it mean to the students i think that the student loan scheme in itself is a huge step in ensuring that there is a balance in financing tertiary education. If it is as huge as we say it is, then the no-granter policy that opens it up in terms of accessibility is even huge. So for us as a National Union of Ghana students who is concerned about the welfare of the ordinary, the poor, the needy, the brilliant, those young people are impeded in their access of the student loan facility then how do we clear it? We only clear it if there is a way of ensuring that everyone is put into the same basket. It's a student uh, loan trust fund. Yes, it means that, to my understanding, it means if we as students go and apply for student loan to at least help us with our education in paying our fees, we do not need any guarantor. We only have to use our NIA card, which is the Ghana card, in the application. Most of us, if you want someone to guarantee for you, you won't get that chance. So I think this policy will really be a help to most of us. Because the president has made it clear to us that from henceforth, we can guarantee, like, get the loan without any guarantee, with the help of the Ghana card. Yeah. We just came here to launch the no guarantee policy, and of which I think is a good initiative from the government. And it is going to remove some of the burden from students. Getting uh, no no guarantor, like as far as uh, student loan is concerned, is very good uh, uh, initiative because uh, formerly uh, we used to uh, get like uh, a guarantor before like uh, you were able to get the loan, and right now if like uh, there is an, uh, a new idea that uh, like for the no no, no guarantor, uh, yeah, I think it is a good idea and it is a good idea.